how to make $1 million in this market, which is crazy right now. You will see that the market actually had one direction. This is up. Statistically, we have longer and more bull markets than bear markets. Currently, we are in the trading phase of 4,200 and 4,600. And we will trade if there's no big news in this kind of waveform between those. When the markets are choppy and quite sensitive and emotional, that's when you buy. Let me introduce you to my brand new product, X10 Day Trading. Basically, you are sick and tired of your nine to five jobs like I was, then this is for you. Or you just want to get a little bit of money on the side, a couple of thousand dollars per month with day trading, where you don't need to know technical analysis and where you watch only 10 videos to know the strategy that I used to 10x $2,000. Yes, in one month, and I did it twice. And let me tell you what comes with it. A 30-minute call with me. Plus an exclusive group that is coming only with this purchase. Plus a second 30-minute call with me a couple of weeks later to see if you're going. So I'm holding your hand. But obviously, it's time-limited. So 50 people maximum get in if you want right now. So welcome to this video where we talk about how to make $1 million in this market, which is crazy right now. I mean, just as of this recording, which is basically yesterday evening, for me evening, for you maybe afternoon, but the stock market's still open for about an hour, okay? So the S&P 500 as of this moment is down 2.6%, which is quite significantly for stock index, right? And when you have this kind of movements, you are saying, okay, what's going on? You know, those are very hard times to trade, to invest and so on and so forth. But I think what is important exactly in those moments, we forget about the positive things that are happening around the world. Okay. And I think that people forget that stocks also go back up. All right. I want to talk about uh, Warren Buffett and also Shamas Palihapitiya in this vlog because those two are billionaires. They have massive knowledge about the, you know, the overall economy and what happened. They lived through cycles and know economy more than anyone else, right? So I want to just say that you know those are very hard times because people get emotionally attached. And today, for example. It was the reason that the oil price spiked, okay? The situation in Ukraine didn't change much. So actually, you know, you have this market going down because it's going down, right? And you have now the anticipation to the Fed meeting next week as well. So a lot of things to consider, but I think that people forget that it's great to look into the next best outcome that can come to the market which can the prices can go up right so you can see that emotionally we sometimes too much attached because if you now look into wars okay then you will find actually that during different kind of hard decisions on the stock market you know for example you had the black monday in august uh, to december 1987 right you had the financial crisis, what you had, for example, the S&P 500 rose around 36% due to Trump's promise on historic corporate tax cuts and so on and so forth. So you always have this crazy events on the stock market. But if you zoom out, you will see that the market actually had one direction. And this is up. Statistically, we have longer and more bull markets than bear markets, right? So I think this is something to always remind yourself that better times comes always after bad times okay so and as more we having this philosophy that everything is great those are actually the great opportunity to pick up your favorite stocks and uh, currently we are in the trading phase of 4200 and 4600 and we will trade if there's no big news in this kind of wave form between those okay so with that said I think that uh, we should dive into Warren Buffett's uh, philosophies and he will tell you a little bit about what happened to Berkshire Hathaway stock, okay? This is Warren Buffett discussing marginal loans just a few years ago. Four times in the 53 years I've been at Berkshire, 
the stock has gone down anywhere from 40 to 60 percent. Berkshire shares. Berkshire shares, yeah. just and sometimes, well, very fast in October of 1987. And uh, people had a perfectly decent investment. If they borrowed against it, they lose it. I, I, it is crazy, in my view, to borrow money on securities. You, you do not know tomorrow morning. You don't know whether the stock exchange will open tomorrow morning. I mean, they, we have closed the stock exchange. One time during World War I, we closed it for months. We closed it after 9-11 for a few days. It, when, uh, it, it's, it's, I put in the annual report, it's insane to risk what you have and need for something you don't really need. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, borrowing money is a way of trying to get rich a little faster, but there are plenty of good ways to get rich slowly and and you can, you can have a lot of fun while you're getting rich <laughs> as well. Now as you can see the oracle of uh, Berkshire Hathaway is again you know spitting some wisdom here but think about it you know everyone was bashing him actually a couple of uh, months ago when everything went up right the overall situation went up with a kind of uh, <laughs> crazy corona and the bull market of you know that came out of the fastest crash ever this was just historic and everyone was bashing you know who needs warren buffett and so on and there was the example of the arc etf right the symbolic etf for the generates out there wall street bets growth stocks uh, only everything goes to the moon and so on and so forth now Let's have a look what actually happened, okay? So let's look into uh, Berkshire Hathaway, the stock and the company of uh, Warren Buffett. If you're looking into the last six months, since about, let's say, uh, November 2021, we gained 16%. Not bad, right? Not bad. So let's have a look what ARK Invest have done. Okay, since the same period, November, we lost 53%. And that's because people are hyped. In either direction, they are hyped. Okay, and I posted this on Instagram. This is the cycle of good news and bad news. And I would like to read it to you because it's really, really interesting and it's really, really wise. The shock cycle, which I think we are partially still in because of the current situation in Ukraine. Assume good news is permanent, okay? You are always like, oh, everything goes up, nothing can beat this market, and so on and so forth. Then you are oblivious to bad news, okay? Then you ignore bad news. Then you deny bad news. You know, the Fed will never let us down, and so on. You know what I'm talking about, right? Panic at the bad news. That's about, you know, the last couple of weeks, and then you accept the bad news, okay, how we can benefit, how we can make the $1 million on the stock market, then you having somewhere good news, but you say, no, this good news cannot be right, this will not help the market, and so on. Uh, you will deny the good news, you will accept the good news, and you think the good news are permanent. And the cycle starts again. I, I really like that. I really like this kind of... Uh, analyzes because it's so true for the markets and everything so i think um you know considering all of that uh we should look a little bit into the future because the future is very bright and now to complete the video how to make one million dollars it's basically through patience okay good times and bad times belong together on the stock market because it's when the markets are choppy and quite sensitive and emotional that's when you buy and when the market gets you know emotional and choppy but on the other side you know into the bull race at some point you have to just realize can this go for a long time tesla stock just 10x can this go another 10x in a couple of you know weeks or months right no there's just an crazy effect of people coming to the stock market and risking more of their money and just discovered the stock market saw this opportunity went into the markets think about it in february 2019 just before 
uh, Rona hit, we had this all time highs after all time highs and people were standing beside it and said like, I want to participate into that. Then came uh, Rona, then it crashed and people started buying crypto, buying stocks, like people went into trading and then so, so they saw the opportunity. The opportunity lasted for about two years, specifically by the Fed uh, that uh, just pumped uh, crazy stimulus, the US government and everybody bought stocks and assets and also, you know, properties, everything went up. This is the, the end now. And then we have another bad news that is crazy impacting at least the European area. And uh, this can, you know, give us a hiccup into the stocks and we sell a little bit off. Obviously we went from in the S&P almost to 5,000 and now we are at 4,200. So we are at the bottom at the current, you know, technical level. So I think like the only way to make really $1 million is to really invest every month, dollar cost averaging and just, you know, let it ride and let it uh, grow. S&P 500 is perfect, you know, do it like Warren Buffett. He made billions. Even when you just consider the last couple of years, the compounding of wealth, the compounding of stock market returns is, is sometimes unimaginable for us humans. And that's why it's so hard to do. So uh, give it a shot and let me know. Finally, I want to leave you with Shamas Pali Habitia because many are worried, are we going into a World War III and so on. So have a look, his part. And uh, thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. I feel like yeah. there's a yeah, really kind of markets. important yeah. discussion because the markets are so volatile during these kind of volatile information times, times of, you know, information that's changing day to day, intraday. You know, where do you guys think about kind of spending your time right now? Or are you kind of just putting your head in the sand and saying, we'll pull it out afterwards? I mean, how do you guys yep. kind of... I mean, well, what's funny is like... I've, Sachs I, is curled up in a ball. <laughs> you know, in, 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 times of, in times of uncertainty, you actually want to be deploying. So, you know, uh, I announced, what was it, last week, I think it was? The solar deal? The solar deal, you know, I put $228 million into this thing. And then I did another deal. I put 45 million bucks into this thing you guys know about, which we haven't announced yet. Yep. So, um, but other than that, I've been literally uh, white knuckled. Uh, I don't like to open the stock app. There's oh. no point. Okay. <laughs> Take some dramamine yeah, before app. you open your Morgan Stanley the account. Stock app. The stock app. And it, what's, what's so funny is like my Bloomberg terminal, which is right beside me here at my desk, I have not logged into it. Okay. Put it in a draw. <laughs> Unplug it. Yeah. There's just no point. I, at the end of every week, I get a report, right? Kind of like our PL. And I just look at the top line, like Connor always sends me the top line is like, you know, and, and the last like eight weeks in a row, we've lost 1%. We've lost 2%. We've lost 3%. The time that it Sachs was like, wishes he lost one percent. Yeah. I celebrated. I got so drunk that night. I was like, <laughs> finally. <laughs> this is where it, it really does help, right, Sachs, to think There's in decades. Like, if you think in decades and you, you're a venture investor, you can kind of just put this stuff out of your mind, which is what, what I'm doing. And the great thing is, I'm seeing amazing companies, great founders. Deals are taking longer to close. People are starting to do diligence again. And people are discussing what the right valuation for this early stage startup is, which is good. That's healthy. I think we're getting like, I don't know what you're seeing in the, in the early to mid stage market privately, but I'm seeing really healthy discussions and late stage madness is gone. It's over. <laughs>